Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest was sexually molested by her father as a child. Then he totally abandoned her and her mother. She filled the void with things like addiction, sin. She was suicidal. Then she was diagnosed as manic depressive. Supernaturally, she found the keys for total freedom. She was shown how to live in the glory, the manifest presence of God 24-7. These keys restored her life. Want to learn how you can live in the glory 24-7? Next on It's Supernatural. Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Are there hidden forces of darkness trying to block God's blessings for your life? Do angels exist, providing us with supernatural protection? Disarming our enemies? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Diane, you lived in the glory. I have never talked to you on the phone. We're pouring out of the phone. I don't experience the presence of the glory of God. What the glory, of course, it's the manifest presence of God. It's tangible. You can see it. You can feel it. Uh, you can hear it. You can smell it. Is it I mean, it's... Uh, uh, what is God doing when that glory comes up? What are some of the things he does? Well, he, uh, there's miracles that happen. Healing comes in your body. There's words of revelation that come. You know, the power of God, you, you can literally, tangibly feel the glory of God. And people get words of knowledge. They get words of wisdom. All kinds of miracles happen when the glory of God shows up. And, and uh, guess, guess what? She pastors a church. When people show up at her church, they're used to actually seeing and feeling and experiencing the manifest presence of God, the, the, the glory of God. You know what it reminds me? I, I, I read about the Zeusa Street revival. Yes. And the children at the revival used to play in the glory hide and seek. Now, yeah. that is a good <laughs> kid's game. Tell me about the Catholic couple. Okay, I want to get this right. So I'm going to pull this out. These are the words of the uh, lady that a Catholic couple started coming to our church. They hadn't been around any of the supernatural uh, things of God. They hadn't been in Pentecostal or, you know, around the moving of the Holy Spirit. And so she wrote me and she said, every time I see you preach, everything around you seems fuzzy. I didn't even know how to put it into words because my mind gets in the way. I'm always thinking it's just my contacts, but it happens when I wear my glasses. Do you know what I'm talking about when I say that? She said, I see it every time that you are preaching. And she said, and I catch myself staring because she said, I, I don't know, I can't figure out what it is that I'm seeing. And then this is what happened that was so amazing because of her encountering the glory of God. She said, do you remember when the first time I met you? She said, you hugged me and I fell down under the power of God. She said, I will never forget that moment. That was the day that I knew that God was real. So when God's glory shows up and, and we're touched by it and that power begins to move in and through us, God becomes real and tangible 
to you. Now, her husband, he was a different story. He didn't start coming with her at first. And then he finally started coming. Well, when he came, Sid, and he started coming on a, you know, pretty regular basis, he said one day, he said when you were ministering, he said it, it was like people were coming in and out of a thick cloud. He said that the bushes behind you were gold, and he said when you were speaking, your hair started turning gold, and he said that the more that you were speaking, he said your face started turning gold, and it started shining. There was a bright light that came from it. So, you know, supernatural things begin to happen. The glory of God changes how we look. And someone right now is you are encountering that glory right now. And I want you to just yield to what God wants to do right now at this moment. And so, you know, it's a very powerful thing when the glory of God shows up because it changes your life forever. Uh, I just had a very strange vision there's someone watching, maybe many people, that your ears are red and almost, almost on fire. I don't know if you're deaf, but whatever you need in the ears, tumors are going, any, and anything you need in the ears are being healed right now. <laughs> you know, when the, when the Bible says, eye has not seen and ear has not heard, all that God has in store for us, and this is it. This is the last great outpouring of God's mercy on planet Earth. Uh, I've been calling it the greater glory. It's here right now, yeah. and it's going to do nothing but get stronger. But the question that I have for Diane is, how could Diane forgive her father? I mean, his sexual abuse of her, his abandonment, and then rejection. But amazingly, she still hungered for a relationship. Why? She sure didn't need more rejection. What happened next? Only God could have orchestrated. Stay with us. The supernatural of God knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network is now available for your mobile devices and smart TVs with this free ISN app. Our world doesn't need another Christian TV network. What the world needs is life-changing programs that have a tangible outpouring of God's presence, and people need to be able to access it whenever they need it, wherever they are. ISN makes it possible to meet you right at your point of need with live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on mobile devices or smart TVs. Or choose from dozens of powerful episodes of It's Supernatural and other exclusive programs in our online library. Just go to your app store and download it for free. Whenever, wherever, God's not limited, and neither is your access to the supernatural of God. We now return to It's Supernatural. Now, Diane found out that her father had cancer and was in a very bad way. But again, with all of the abuse you went through, I don't know how one human could go through all of that from, from her dad. Why did you really want to see him? Well, I didn't want my father to spend eternity in hell. And, you know, no matter what he did not do for me and what he did to me, I knew because of the way I was raised, I knew that I needed to forgive. And it was the ongoing thing every day, you know, to keep forgiving him and then to pray for his salvation. And God has a way of working with people and, and doing in them and for them what we cannot do to keep them in that place until they receive salvation because God's word is not going to return back to him void. So I just kept standing on that word and just kept declaring that he would receive salvation. Of course, I never knew that I would be the one to lead him to the Lord. Three weeks later, your father went into a hospice uh, to just the dying process. Yes. Um, and uh, you went there 
but you didn't go in by yourself, did you? You had, no. you had the manifest presence of God surrounding you. Yes. You knew it, but yes. how do you know others knew that? Well, because people commented when they came into the room, they could feel something in the room. One of his um, golf buddies came in and he said, there's, you know, I feel something in here. And so it was, you know, definitely a tangible. The nurses, they felt something in there and in fact asked me if I would uh, pray with them for something that, for some a title deed that she didn't get to her home. And so I said, well, for us to pray in agreement, I need to ask you, do you know Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior? And she said, no. And I said, well, would you like to so we could pray in agreement? And she said, yes. And, and by the way, it was the glory that caused her to ask the question and them to respond the right way. Yes. Yes, it was so tangible. And when I led this uh, first nurse to the Lord, my father, who had not been around, you know, people raising their hands, lifting their hands to the Lord, as he was laying in bed, he opened his eyes and he lifted his hands up to the Lord. And, you know, that was just a glorious thing to see because he had never been in that. And then uh, she was so excited about what God had done for her the next day. And I just have to share this, that God supernaturally moved because the next day when I saw her, she said, can I come down to your room in a little bit? And I said, well, sure. And she said, I got the papers in the mail today. And so I know that angels went and got those papers and mm -hmm. put them in her mailbox. And then she said, I have a friend. She said, and can we come down at the end of our shift tonight? Because she wants to know Jesus too. And so, yeah. So did she? <laughs> and, and she did. And so they, they came down, they came down to the room and I was going to pull the curtain, you know, and my, my father's 85 year old roommate, he looked over because I was going to pull the curtain. He said, no, he said, not pull curtain. I thought, oh my goodness, God is moving. He's fixing to get Jesus too. And somebody watching right now, you've been praying and you've been standing in the gap. And I want to encourage you to not give up and keep standing on the word of God because God is faithful to his word and he will do what only he can do. You just rest in him and his word and trust him and stand on the word that your loved one or your best friend or whoever it is that they're going to receive salvation. That, that 85 year old roommate, I can just picture him. He's in his bed. Yes. He's preparing to die. Uh, you know, it's a hospice uh, and he's observing but there's more than what he's, he's observing. He's feeling something. And what did he say to you? He, he, when he took my hands, he said I was the angel that God had sent. But when he looked up, he saw a light. He said, a light. He said, I see a light. And I told him, I said, Julio, that is Jesus. Jesus is the light and the way and the truth. And so he looked at me, and this was the most amazing thing I've ever heard from anyone that I've laid to the Lord. He said, I have been waiting for this day all of my life. And I thought, wow. And so when I left, said, I asked the Lord, I said, Father, how, how could a person know to say that? And the Father spoke so tenderly to me. And he said, because every person that I created was born to know me. And so, you know, we've got to not be afraid and step out and lead people to the Lord, not be afraid to ask people if they know where they're going to spend eternity, because we've been praying for the harvest for a long time and the harvest is ripe. And so we just have to be willing to ask people, where are you going to spend would, eternity? Would any of this had happened if you didn't choose to forgive your father? I don't believe it would have. In fact, I, I'm almost sure that it would not have done. But forgiveness, it opens the door up and invites the glory of God to come and to reside. And, and then you walk in that love and, you know, God's going to move and things are going to happen. It's a very powerful thing to know that we can be a vessel for God every single day. And there's somebody that needs Jesus. There's somebody that needs healing in their body. There's somebody that's going to feel the tangible presence of God. And there's going to be somebody that's going to be aware of God's glory. And that's what we're doing is releasing the kingdom. Open yourself up 
in the audience and at home to this presence of God, it's just getting stronger and stronger and thicker and thicker. And as Diane said, if you're that person that needs to know God, now is the acceptable time. Repeat this prayer after me and believe it to the best of your ability, out loud. That's you, you at home and in the audience. Repeat after me. Dear God, Dear God I'm, a I'm a sinner. And I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And, I and I believe the blood of Jesus washes away my sins. Away my sins. And I'm clean. And, I'm clean. and now, that I'm clean, now that I'm clean, I boldly say, I boldly say Jesus, you are my Lord and Savior. Jesus, you are my Lord and Savior. Come inside of me. Let me come to know you and experience you and spend forever with you. Amen. Now, when we return, I want to find out about the thick, glory cloud that came into Diane's bedroom, and God instructed her how to stay in the glory. After this instruction, people started saying to her, the top part of your body just fades out, and we only see the glory cloud. Want to find out what were God's instructions? I know I do. Next. <laughs> Right back to It's Supernatural. Life can seem to glide by in a monotonous rhythm of daily activities. You wake, you shower, you dress, you take care of others and make sure they have all they need, you commute to work, you work hard for eight hours, maybe nine, maybe ten, you commute back home, you cook dinner, you watch some television, you go to bed. It's the same predictable cycle, day after day, month after month, year after year. You wonder, is this all there is to life? The truth is that change is available. There is a greater purpose for your life, something only you can do. There's a plan, a guiding map that has been there since before you were even born. There's a path that was created for you, which you alone can take. Day by day, hour by hour, if you choose to pursue it, your destiny will be revealed. The invitation is there. Will you discover all that life has for you? Do you want to find out what you were truly created for? Do you want more? Are you hungry to discover your purpose? We would love to provide you with a powerful book that will show you the way. Get a free online download of the book, They Thought for Themselves, by logging onto the website, theythoughtforthemselves.com. The supernatural of God knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network, is now available for your mobile devices and smart TVs with this free ISN app. Our world doesn't need another Christian TV network. What the world needs is life-changing programs that have a tangible outpouring of God's presence, and people need to be able to access it whenever they need it, wherever they are. ISN makes it possible to meet you right at your point of need with live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on mobile devices or smart TVs. Or choose from dozens of powerful episodes of It's Supernatural and other exclusive programs in our online library. Just go to your app store and download it for free. Whenever, wherever, God's not limited, and neither is your access to the supernatural of God. We now return to It's Supernatural. So, Diane, what was it like in that thick, thick, thick glory? What did you see? What did you feel? 
Well, it was absolutely amazing. And of course, I was so overwhelmed by God's presence. On the side of my room, like when the glory had come in and it moved over uh, to the middle of my room, I was sitting in the bed. This whole side of the room, you could not see anything. I mean, absolutely nothing at all. And so I'm sitting there and, and it's like, you know, it's just like right there beside me. And I'm thinking, okay, I want to check this out because that's what our mind says. So I stuck my hand over in it, just totally disappeared. So I pulled it out real quick and I'm holding it so close to my face because you know, your again, your mind's trying to figure it out because our carnal mind does not understand the supernatural. So I kept doing it. And I kept doing, I probably did it six, maybe seven <laughs> times because it was just Like so those kids <laughs> in Azusa Street that yeah. played hide and seek in the glory. You were a kid. <laughs> I was. I was. And I, I was just so overtaken. I said, you know, Father, why are you showing me this? And he said, Diane, he said, as long as you pray and read my word and worship, he said, as you do that, when I send you out, he said, people will not see you, but he said, they'll see me. And he said, no flesh will glory in my presence. And that's that's I, a I was, very key concept. Yes, yes. And that's what I just kept, you know, I've always given him the glory. And that's been uh, something that you just have to do. And uh, so what happened is the next week when I stood up in the pulpit to preach after the service, a couple of people came up to me at different times and told me, you know, while you were standing there, all of a sudden the top part, the top part of your body disappeared and all there was was a gold cloud and another person said they saw a white cloud you know it's so holy because we don't see that so often and, it, and it's hard to to fathom that and i'm thinking wow god you know they saw you they heard you they couldn't see me anymore just like what happened and what you spoke to me and so we can't ever forget there's a process that we have to go through, and it's called dying to self, and that's what most people don't No one hear. likes that. <laughs> no one. It's true. But you know but. what? Look at what the reward is. When yeah. people see you, they don't even see you anymore. They see yes. Jesus. Now, there were such simple steps that you talk about. Uh, for instance, so we can operate in this glory. Yes. Uh, like, tell me about the step of worship. Okay. So in worship is, you know, the Bible says to worship him in spirit and in truth. So we worship him through our obedience to the word of God. You know, I've never, I've never heard that. I thought worship was you sing the song. That's not what she said. Say it again. It's as we're obedient to the Word of God. That's considered worship to Yes, we're worshiping Him in spirit and in truth because His words are life and they're spirit. So as we receive the Word engrafted in us, we become a living epistles. I want you right now to release the glory quickly. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for the power that's in the blood of Jesus. And Father, I release your glory all over to each and every one right now. Father, as their heart is yielded to you, Father, as their spirit is yielded, Lord, I thank you for the tangible manifestation of your glory, for healings, Father, for miracles, for even words of knowledge and wisdom that will come in your glory. Father, thank you for your glory right now that is going out right now, touching people everywhere and even in the audience. In the name of Jesus, I pray these things. Amen. You know, this Amen. glory is tangible. This glory, those of you that are you know, whether you feel it or not, what would you say to someone that doesn't feel the glory? I just tell them don't focus on that and just have faith in God that they're in the presence of His glory. But I do believe at one point in time they are going to tangibly see and feel because it's part of our inheritance. You will tangibly see and feel the glory. It's your inheritance. Yes. <laughs> A botched surgery leaves a Jewish man paralyzed for life. He becomes deeply depressed, knowing that he'll be confined to a wheelchair for the rest of his days. 
But then he discovers a revelation that totally changes his life and leads him to be miraculously healed. He completely regains the ability to walk, even though 25 doctors, neurosurgeons, and neurologists can't explain this. Do you want to learn what this revelation was? For the ending to this true story, go to www.theythoughtforthemselves.com. The supernatural knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network, offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, seven days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. I love that I can watch my favorite shows anytime I want. My workouts are out of the box, and so are my ISN podcasts. Download the free ISN app today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hello, I'm David Hogan. Did you know that God wants to use you to heal the sick, cast out devils, raise the dead? Join me on It's Supernatural with Sid Roth as I share how this is God's normal for your life. Thank you.